Welcome back. If you guys are just joining us, Jacqueline and I are just concluding our first van life trip in the Van Mobile down to Florida. This morning we woke up in a Walmart near Ormond Beach. So the plan for today is right now we're heading to a Planet Fitness to get our morning shower. We're gonna go meet up with my sister who is a resident of Florida and get some lunch. And then we're gonna hang out at Ormond Beach hopefully for the rest of the afternoon once it stops raining and just fly all day at the beach. Lunch was absolutely marvelous. We're headed to grab some coffee, because you know me, before we get to the beach and go fly. And Jeff's there. And the weather's kind of weird. It's cloudy and not that warm, but hopefully it will get a little bit nicer. We can do a lot of flying. situation our go-to spot that I've flown at before is closed actually so we found this spot the beach is a little bit more narrow but I think it should be all right the winds are up there it's definitely doable but for Jacqueline she might feel uncomfortable doing it so I'm gonna go out and rip around real quick and see how it is should be sick it's pretty cold but not too bad like it's I don't know 60 70 not really good beach weather but we're still gonna send it. Freaking Jeff just launched. He's uh, on his A-wing, just cruising along nice and slow. And uh, we got two Mavics up filming us. It's freaking beautiful. It's so smooth, nice and easy, launch and landings, laminar wind. So we're gonna have some fun today. Rogers. What do you say we freaking send it? Beach all freaking day long. My soul's finally wore through on these shoes, so now I feel like I can just get them dirty in the sand. Oh, I might. Oh, this beach is marvelous. I'm gonna come out of that foot drag. There's a lot of places where like paramotors are highly frowned upon, and just the public doesn't appreciate people buzzing around. The public here freaking love paramotors. Jeff told me. He saw a sheriff or something earlier this morning, asked him if it was cool, and the guy's like, honestly, I don't know what the regulations are, but I think it's fine. The lifeguard said it was good, and the locals love it. Like, there's been an audience of people out there all day just wanting us to fly and do our thing. Right here, you hit an altitude that the air is like, gotta be at least 10 degrees warmer. Let's throw a quick barrel roll. Wing over. Oh, I spotted an airplane while I was inverted. What's up, dude? Howdy. <laughs> nice to share the airspace with you. 
That's why you always got to be vigilant. Let's creep up on Jeff. Howdy, partner. This is going to be some epic chase cam footage. Boop, 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 boop. Just get pitted, brah. I think Jeff might be going for a foot drag. He did his 100th flight the other day. Yeah, dude, kill it. He's getting it. He's getting it. And a touch and go. Rad, rad. Get her, get her, buddy. Yeah, he's killing it. Why? Because I wanted to. Blop, 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 blop. Beach flying is so much fun. It can, like, it seems like it can get boring because all there is is, like, beach and water and the landscape never really changes. But when you have this, like, 10 mile per hour wind, you can just say, like, oh, look at that little bit of land over there. I want to perch upon it. And then you just swoop down. And you freaking perch. Because why not? Because you can. And then you just stand here. And it's awkward. And people are like, what the hell is that guy doing? Oh, I forgot about my chase cam. Yeah, Gertrude. She's probably got some sand on her lens now. <laughs> That's so freaking sick. I just like jetted up to 100 feet. You level off and you're basically stationary. It's like a little elevator ride. How close is my chase cam to my prop? So it's not a hazard? Oh yeah, she's good. Bye. He's like a fighter jet made of biceps. Jacqueline's a little hesitant about the wind and the beach situation. She's got, I think, 20 flights now, which isn't a whole lot. That's like what people normally leave training with. And this would be her first beach flight, which is scary because there's ocean and you can get swept away if you freaking land in it or have a motor out. We all got flotation on, so we're as safe as we can be. But she's rightfully hesitant. Let's get some creeper shots on Jeff. He doesn't know I'm behind him. What's up, buddy? <laughs> He's like, come on, man, why are you creeping? We need to get at least one tip touch on the beach. And I'm looking directly into the sun for it. I'm just about stalling my wing. Thermodynamics. Let's do that thing where we climb really fast. Man, this flying thing sure is a hoot. I think this is going to be the last episode of our uh, first van life tour. Tonight, the plan is we're probably going to get dinner after this and then drive north until like midnight. Should be able to put in about four hours of driving and then tomorrow morning we'll wake up and do the rest of the driving. Then we'll be back in cold New Jersey for a little while. And uh, I still, I, I teased in the last episode, there's a big surprise coming. It's a trip, we're going somewhere. I'm taking you guys on another mad adventure, somewhere exotic. Let's get some altitude, I'll do a quick barrel roll thingy and then we'll come in and 
land warm up, I'll probably put on a freaking jacket. All right, let's send it. We'll drop our altitude and come in for a sweet landing. Freaking get pitted! Hello, sir. Marvelous day on the beach, ain't it? Let's attempt some sort of fancy landing. this town. I guess this is St. Augustine, but they got beautiful lights and all the trees. It's just a hopping place to be. Current situation, downloading music so that I have something to listen to on the way home, because we're in this fancy ass town, <laughs> drinking espresso and eating macaroons. Pretty neat. St. Augustine is neat. And uh, yeah, check out the lights. Oh, almost biffed it. Just changed the headlight on the old van so we don't get a ticket for having one out. <laughs> the other day we were cruising and I freaking lost power and the turbo noise went crazy on the highway. The uh, one of the the Watcha Hoosies host clams came off. But yeah, hashtag van life. So we're gonna get in and we're just gonna drive north until we get tired. So this is the end of this video. Beach flying all day it was freaking marvelous. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in next time. We'll probably be back in New Jersey for some sick flying in the cold until the next adventure. So until then, peace out. See you guys.